I've never seen a yacht like this in my dreams Sailing the seas in boats so grand, it seems But we're just humble sailors Salt upon our cheeks Go classic every day of the week Hey everybody, welcome back to Boat Fool Sailing. Thanks for tuning in last week and thanks for watching this week. We really appreciate your support. Now, speaking of support, uh, a big shout out to our newest Patreon, Jason. Thank you for your support and congratulations on your uh, new to you, Ericsson 26. You're going to love that boat. You're going to have a ball with it. So, uh, welcome aboard. Now, I am flying solo at the HQ today and so we're going to do the top five coolest boats currently for sale in the great state of Maine that are for sale for less than $25,000 and there are some smoking deals. Number one is one of my favorite designs of all time and so I think you're going to enjoy this episode. So, spring is here, sailing season is right around the corner in theory. Uh, Prices are dropping across the board. I'm going to show you this, and now is the time to strike, especially if you have some dry powder and you're thinking of buying a boat. Now is the time to do it if you want to get out sailing this summer. So, if you're not uh, feeling like your pockets are deep enough for that new X Yacht Showcase and Sale magazine that starts at $850,000, I think we might have a boat for you in this episode. So, tune in, sit back, relax. We're going to blast through these and have some fun. Let's go. All right, before we get started, just a quick note about price drops, okay? They're happening across the board in the state of Maine, probably in your neck of the woods too. It is a buyer's market. So here, for example, on Yacht World, uh, zero to 25,000, actually zero to $30,000. Uh, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten price drops on page one alone, zero to thirty thousand dollars in the great state of Maine. So prices are dropping. Uh, now is the time to buy. Get after it. All right, if you're new to the show, this is the Boat Fools Top Sailboat Scorecard. You got five categories, five points each, one point being the lowest, five being the highest. You can do half points in between. A perfect boat will score 25 points. We have not yet had that. The five categories are as follows. Seamanship, by that I mean, how well has the owner maintained this boat over its lifetime? Affordability, is a boat expensive, inexpensive? Is it gonna be expensive to maintain? Comfort, can you sit four or five in the cockpit? Is it gonna be comfortable to sail uh, or is it gonna be uncomfortable? Is it uh, usable? Usability, does that mean is it easy to get on and off the mooring or out of a slip or do you need multiple people to help you do this? Uh, is she pretty? Always uh, controversial, but it is subjective. Is she pretty to look at? Can you row away from your boat and be like, you know what? Hmm, that's a darn good looking boat. So that's how you do it. We're doing five boats today. Follow along. All right, my scorecard's ready. Here we go. My first pick of the day, a 1974 Bristol 32 foot sloop. I love these boats and this is a beauty. List price is fourteen thousand five hundred. Listed two days ago, it'll be four or five by the time you see this uh, in Hope, Maine. She's actually in Camden. I know the boat. I know the family that owns it, and this is a beautiful, beautiful example of the Bristol Thirty Two. You got some nice netting around here for kids or pets, and uh, this boat has had a lot of done a lot done to it over the last ten years when this family's owned her, and they're sad to be selling it. Uh, but uh, this boat is ready to go. So you've got uh, several head sails, a Genoa storm sail, and a working jib. You've got a new mainsail within the last five years. The deck and hull have been uh, all gripped, and you've got a, a Raymarine radar and a Garmin 7-inch chart plotter. Uh, you've got solar. Uh, you've got a rebuilt ice box, and all the rigging was replaced, okay? Uh, standing rigging, that is. And uh, you've got an Atomic 4 inboard gas engine. It runs well. It's freshwater cooled. However, there is a spare motor if you want it. Now, uh, those Atomic 4s are fine if they're maintained. You just got to make sure you get some uh, good ventilation around it before you start it, that sort of thing. Anyway, let's look at the pictures because this is a beautiful example of the Bristol 32. Here she is in Camden Harbor on the dock. She's uh, moored in Camden Harbor usually, and I've seen her for myself. I've seen her with my own eyes. This is a beautiful boat. You got a nice Dodger um, sail cover, and uh, there's your radar tower there. And this boat is spit polished clean. The down below has been refreshed. You've got the new fabric on your cushions, and all of it looks neat and tidy. And uh, this boat has been loved by this family propane stove. Uh, this is fantastic. Nice and clean, ready to rock and roll. Um, there's a nice look at those cushions. I love the fabric. Uh, there's your solar radar and uh, your uh, nice look at the deck here. All of it is in great shape. You've got auto helm and nice little uh, pedestal with wheel here and a nice folding table in your cockpit. 
Uh, I mean, honestly, there's nothing not to like about this boat. Um, here's some of your instruments and electronics, and there's your radar. Uh, there's your Garmin chart plotter that looks new and looks uh, perfect and, and easy to use. There's your uh, radar that's uh, clearly functioning properly. Here she is again, tied up to the dock. Nice look at her transom. Uh, nice lines on this boat. I love this boat. Uh, and here she is under sail out of Camden. So uh, let's look at the sailboat data on this one. All right, Bristol 32, she's not a y'all. She is the sloop version. Nice uh, full keel, beautiful shear, uh, protected prop, keel hung rudder. Uh, I really love it. Length overall is 32 feet. Length on water is 22. Beam of nine and a half. Max draft of under five feet at 4.67. That's fantastic. 322 of these were made by Bristol Yachts. Ted Hood design along with uh, Dieter Umpacher. So really, really pretty example. 25 gallons of uh, fuel, 100 gallons of water for a 32 foot boat. That's amazing. Uh, sail area displacement of 15.31, uh, ballast displacement of 36, pretty stiff boat, also heavy displacement at 452, comfort ratio of nearly, uh, of over 33 at 33.28, so a nice comfortable ride, capsizing and scooting of under 2 at 1.72, and an S factor of 0.83, so not the fastest in light air, but she's going to go in a blow, and she's going to be comfortable, and she is a beautiful boat, she is my first pick of the day. All right, so my second pick of the day is a 1983 Sabre 30-2. List price of 25000 located in Portland, Maine. Posted about 10 days ago by the time you see this. Reported to be in excellent condition. Now you know how I feel about that. It's probably good condition at best. But I have to say that the seller uh, is being a little bit honest here. It says uh, here that the hull is in good shape, in excellent shape, but has the appropriate scratches in the gel coat for her age. Constantly updated and maintained over the last 12 years. Full batten main with two reef points. You got 130% furl, uh, furling Genoa with an h shoot with a snuffer. Uh, in 2017, the standing rigging and running rigging was all replaced along with the masthead sheaves, uh, snatch block, upper left lines, and bimini. Um, and let's see, in 2022, you had a new uh, sealed propane locker built to code. You've got a Dickerson cooktop and an, uh, a SIG 100 uh, diesel cabin heater. And uh, you've, in 2023, you had new main traveler blocks put on. Plus, um, the Western Beak has unknown hours, but has been maintained over the years, including uh, new exhaust, uh, manifold, rebuilt heat exchanger, expansion tank, alternator. You've got a tripless shaft seal, new injectors as of 2017, and some solar panels and a bunch of electronics. Uh, so let's look at the pictures because she is pretty and in great shape hull looks great uh dodger uh bimini lazy jacks roller furling room for a inflatable on your uh, four peak there you've got a wind vane uh auto helm on here you've got yeah, there's your uh heater there your diesel heater soul floor looks to be in good shape there's your bimini there's your radar tower uh there's your helm station with your chart plotter uh everything looks to be in great shape there's your cooktop it's not a gimbaled full stove it's just a cooktop but that's fine um and then you've got some screened hatch boards here so you can keep the mosquitoes out but keep the air moving so a really lovely lovely example of the saber 30-2 Let's look at the sailboat data on this. Okay, uh, nice fin keel, uh, spade, uh, rudder. You've got a, an unprotected prop that they don't show here in this layout, but uh, length overall of 29.92, length on water of 24, beam of 10, uh, max draft is just over five at 5.2 feet. Uh, 35 of these were built uh, built by Sabre, made in Maine. Uh, you can't beat that. These are solid, solid boats, and you, this boat would take you anywhere. All right. Sail area displacement of over 17 is 17.32. Ballast displacement of uh, nearly 42. A nice stiff boat. Uh, heavy displacement of 277. Comfort ratio of 24. A little bit lower because it's more of a racer cruiser uh, body style. And uh, 1.96 capsizing screening formula, so under two, which is great, and an S factor of uh, 1.95. So these numbers are good. This boat is going to be fast, lively, reasonably comfortable, and great for coastal cruising. She would take you anywhere. Uh, and I love this boat. She's my second pick of the day. All right, my third pick of the day is a 1987 Cal 33-foot sloop. List price of $23,000, located in Stonington, Maine. Now, by the time you see this, it'll have been posted for about six days. But I know for a fact that this boat came on the market uh, last fall and then came off probably as winter set in. So it's back on the market for the spring. And I think the time is right to strike with a nice uh, offer on this. And I would go at like $17,000. But... This is a really cool example of the Cal 33. It's uh, reported to be in good condition, and I would concur with that. Uh, 400 engine hours in uh, 1987 she was built, which is going to make it easy to insure. And uh, the seller notes that he's selling it because he just doesn't have time to use it. 
and uh, she's stored up in uh, Stonington, Maine, undercover, um, and the engine is in good shape with new fuel lines and filters. And the seller notes that the head may need some attention. That's an honest statement, and that makes me uh, feel that the seller has some credibility. And credibility is everything when it comes to buying a used boat. Brand new Garmin GPS, uh, older radar that still works, and spacious quarter berth uh, in the aft quarter. And a full galley with a functioning propane stove, roller furling jib, good mainsail, and two spinnakers that these sellers have never used. Fun, comfortable boat. Yeah, I would agree. This is a sweet boat. Let's take a look at the pictures. Uh, the uh, bright work looks a little tired, but that's an easy fix, and there's not a lot of it, so that's also fantastic. Nice, uh, big, self-tailing winches here. There's your helm station. You've got a nice transom-hung ladder, and uh, buzzing through these, you can see that she has nice, clean lines. Her radar uh, dome is mounted up on the mast, which is great, and there's your new Garmin, and uh, looking down below is a dog that is on the boat, and... Uh, what's nice about this boat is the layout. This galley is sweet. You can tuck yourself in here and you've got something to lean against behind you. Quarter berth over there with a the porpoise peeper window. And the sole floor looks like it has a little discoloration, but uh, who knows what that's from. But it doesn't look like a big deal and you can easily refinish that. But uh, these boats are super comfortable. V berth looks nice. And again, we're on the outside, but here's your sort of uh, fingernail, uh, half moon, uh, main salon settee with a drop leaf table. Again, the sole floor needs a little love, but uh, that's not the end of the world. Just find out if there are any issues. You've got a keel step mast. There's one of your chain plates, ship's bell. Everything looks great. Uh, the dog seems to be loving it too, right? And these boats are fast, fun, and very exciting to sail. You can race them, you can cruise them, etc. But a nice shot of the deck here. Very clean, clean lines all around. Now, you see some rub marks here on the hull. That is probably from the sling on the travel lift. Easy to buff out because otherwise the gel coat looks really, really slick. Uh, and just nice clean lines. I love these cows. And they don't come up for sale often in Maine. So this is a nice one. Nice double spreaders. And uh, I would take a close look at this. There's your porpoise peeper. And again, fun for racing, cruising, and you could sleep six on here comfortably. I love this boat. So let's look at the sailboat data. Uh, again, she's the Hunt Design, Cal 33. Uh, nice fin keel, uh, spade rudder, nice layout there. And length overall, 33 feet. Length on water of 27 and a half. Beam of over 11 feet, 11.33. So it's nice and roomy down below. Max draft of just over six feet, which is fine. You're up in Maine. Water's pretty deep around here. Uh, and... Uh, it says a Yanmar uh, diesel on this. We don't know what the subject is, but 24 gallons of diesel, 50 gallons of water, and your sail area displacement is 18.17. Nice fast boat, especially in light air. Uh, ballast displacement of 41.44. Nice stiff boat. Uh, moderate displacement of 231. And uh, comfort ratio of uh, nearly 23. It's a little bit lower because it is a racer cruiser. And uh, capsize is creating up just over two and an S factor 2.47. So this is going to be a fast, fun boat to sail. I'm going to score it up. She's my third pick of the day. I love this boat. I would take a close look at her. All right. My fourth pick of the day is a 1965 Choi Lee Bermuda 30. Located in Harborside, Maine, which is down near uh, Castine and Brooksville. List price of $28,000, just over that $25,000 mark. But this, this boat, as noted in the opening sequence of the price drops, has had a recent price drop. This boat will go for under $25,000. I guarantee it. All right. Uh, I love this boat. It's been on the market for a while, hence the price drop. And it's just, it's grown on me. I, I love it. She's a classic uh, masthead catch. And uh, she is fiberglass, and there is a marine survey from 2021, and she had a full uh, hull, uh, fresh all grip as, in, as of uh, 2022. And um, she's got a step down cabin, uh, so you've got headroom here, and it's just, it's classic. It's, if, so if you're looking for a classic, beautiful boat, this is the one. You've got a transom hung, uh, rudder, tiller steering, catch. Uh, looks like you've got one, two, three, four, five people in that cockpit and uh, a bunch of stuff that comes with it, including a Garmin uh, chart plotter. And uh, I'm not going to go through all this, but um, the down below has been updated and it's pretty. So I want to show you the pictures on this boat because I really have fallen in love with this. Uh, here she is under sail again. Uh, looks like the sails are nice and crisp and new. And uh, look at that paint job. This boat is turnkey. And the attention to detail, you've got a nice stainless steel rub rail. Uh, down uh, your tow rail there along the hull, a nice blue boot stripe with a matching uh, cove stripe. I love it. And a nice full keel and a protected rudder and prop. But look at this. The bright work is just 
gorgeous on this i love it uh there's your cockpit you've got a, a grill obviously uh another look a look at your cockpit but look at these beautiful high combing boards all all bright worked and varnished and stinking pretty and the down below um this is a dark picture here but the attention to detail is really nice like this i can see a little uh issue with moisture here under that uh dead light there but otherwise uh really really pretty and uh again here's a nice shot looking forward to the bow and the the craftsmanship is is uh really quite extraordinary but the cushions are all nice and bright this is a nice bright picture i love it um and another shot of your deck looking forward there's your v-berth and there's your galley there's your cooktop um it's not i don't believe that's a gimbal stove it might though it might be because this looks like it folds down but i can't tell but really really pretty so if you're looking for something classic with some charm and beauty uh this would be the boat for you and uh, I love these boats. They're well made. And this is going to be a really comfortable boat to sail. So let's look at the sailboat date on this. So there she is, a Bermuda 30 by Choi Lee. I think the subject boat might be this boat. Um, but I love the rake in your masts here. I love the sweet uh, sweep of your shear. And it's just so stinking pretty. So your length overall is 29.58. Length on the water is 24. Beam of just under 9 and 8.75. So she's a little narrower. Uh, max draft of under 4 feet at 3.67. Uh, built in Hong Kong by Choi Lee and designed by Harishoff. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Sail area displacement of uh, 12.94. So not so fast in light air. Heavy displacement at 326. Comfort ratio of nearly 34. That's going to be a comfortable ride. Capsize and screening of under 2 at 1.62. And an S factor of 1. So again, not the fastest boat in light air, but she'll go in a blow and she's going to be comfortable. And you're not buying this boat for speed. You're buying it for comfort and from getting you for, uh, from point A to point, D, point B. I love it. Uh, I'm getting a little tongue-tied, sorry. But she's my uh, fourth pick of the day, and I'm going to score up. All right, ladies and gents, the last pick of the day is a 1988 Quick Step 24 foot sloop. We don't see a lot of these, and they are adorable. Uh, list price is only 8,500 bucks, located in Freeport, Maine. So when you go to pick her up, pick up some Sperry Topsiders and uh, a rain jacket at LLB, and you're good to go. She was posted about 12 days ago. By the time you see this, uh, reported to be in good condition. Engine hours of 25. Why so low? Because it was a new engine as of last year. It's an outboard. Uh, and she was built in 1988, so she's going to be easy to insure. Now, uh, she was also designed by Ted Brewer, and he designed uh, my Morgan 382. And there it is, the Honda uh, 5 horsepower, new in 2023. You've got a mainsail and gym in good condition. And she has a Gunnel Mountain mounted swim ladder and comes with a 10-foot fiberglass nor'easter sailing dinghy professionally maintained and stored in freeport maine this is a pretty boat check it out nice blue top size uh beige uh dodger a beige uh sail cover and a uh, nice roller furling you've got lazy jacks it's a nice color combination she's really pretty and she's a double ender uh her name is glimmer um but really pretty uh lines there your lazy jacks and there she is from behind and there is your new Honda and it's outboard well. And you got tiller steering. You got a uh, traveler uh, behind your cockpit, which is nice if you're single handing this. This, I presume, is your dinghy that comes with it. You got a little bit of solar here. And um, you can just sneak a peek down below. There are no pictures of her down below other than this. And I'm going to find some other quick steps to show you the interiors. But you do have a head, so you can do some overnighting and coastal cruising on this. Nice high freeboards in your cockpit, and they look like they've been beautifully maintained. And you've got nice self-tailing primary winches. Uh, you are good to go. There's your tiller. Um, what a pretty boat. Uh, nice hatchboards and just stinking cute. So looking at the... Sailboat data, you got a nice fuzzy picture here, but your schematics are here. Nice, beautiful shear and nice full keel. Nice little brewer bite here. There's your rudder. Sleeping for four, it looks like. And this even shows your head up here in the V-berth. And uh, length overall, just under 24 feet at 23.92. Length on the water of 19. Uh, beam is just under 8 feet at 7.92 and a max draft of just over 3 feet at 3.37 fiberglass construction 200 of these were made uh, designed by Ted Brewer some were built by CE Ryder some by Shannon Yachts and some by uh, Standard Boatworks so uh, really neat but look at these numbers sailor displacement of 16.49 uh, ballast displacement of nearly 48 at 47 and a half. This is a nice stiff boat. Um, she is a moderate displacement at 260. Uh, comfort ratio is down a little lower at 19.17 because of her short water line. And capsizing screening right at that two mark and an S factor of over two at 2.03. 
really, really good numbers. Fun, lively boat to sail, and she is adorable. Uh, she is the uh, fifth pick of the day. Now I'm going to score them all up, and I'm going to come up with my third, second, and first place finishers. All right, here we go. Uh, the top three, uh, it was hard. It was a hard decision. Uh, I busted out the calculator. I did some beeping and some figuring. I did it once, twice, and even thrice to make sure I got it right. And we do have a consensus on a winner. And uh, we're going to go through the top three now. These were some uh, really hard choices, but I, I think I got it right. These are some beautiful boats. Coming in at number three with a grand total of 20 points. Now, remember, a perfect score is 25. This is Sabre 30-2. This is a beautiful boat. Made in Maine, built to last, can take you anywhere. Uh, solid, solid example of the Sabre 30 30-2. I love this boat. It was a tough call, uh, but uh, she's at the higher end of the price range and that hurt her. But I love it. Go get it if you love savers. Okay, coming in at number two, the 1988 Quick Step 24. Love this boat. It is adorable. It's a double ender. It's got everything. You can weekend on this. You can overnight. You can day sail it. Uh, two people, three people, four people, you name it. Uh, really, really neat boat. Really, really pretty and very affordable. $8,500. you are not going to get hurt on this boat. It was a tough call. She was almost number one. She came in with a grand total of 21 and a half points. I love this boat. They don't come up for sale very often around here. Go get it. She's a cool boat. All right, kick it on the drums. Kick it on the drums, please. Coming in at number one this week is the 1974 Bristol 32 for 14,500. I love this boat. In my opinion, one of the prettiest hull designs on the water ever. And I think this is a really nice example uh, of the Bristol 32. I know the sellers love it. I know the sellers. This is a really nice example. If I had the money and, and needed another boat or wanted another boat, I would be getting this boat. It's so stinking cool. I love it. She is number one this week. Hot, hot, hot. The Bristol 32 from 1974, 14,500. Get it while she's hot. And guys and girls, it is almost summer. Get your boat. Get out sailing. Go have fun. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.